In today's video, I'm going to break down the best base defense in Madden 22. This is a defense that you can utilize against pretty much any formation, and you're going to find that you're going to have some decent levels of success with this. Uh, today, we're going to be talking about it as a base defense against gun tight slots, uh, but you can use this again against pretty much anything, and you're going to have a lot of success. So what I want to do is I actually want to set a couple of audibles and we're going to be talking about the nickel triple. If you are new to the channel, I want to ask you to go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. It's completely free to subscribe to the channel. It just allows you to stay up to date with the latest tips and strategies that I release every single day on the channel here. So if you want to stay up to date, hit the subscribe button. Now the nickel triple can be found in a lot of playbooks, but the my favorite defense defensive playbook with this formation uh, has to be uh, the, the uh, Chicago Bears defensive playbook. Uh, and I'm just going to set a couple of plays here. We're going to talk through cover one linebacker blitz. Uh, we're going to talk through cover six, of course, uh, cover three cloud, Tampa two. Uh, and then I'm actually just going to put uh, cover three match in here. So you've got basically these are kind of some of the key audibles that I like to have. If you don't want to use Cover 3 Cloud, you can uh, substitute this for Cover 3 Sky, which is a really good way to blitz people if you want to, but I'd rather go with Cover 3 Match for the same basic purposes. So again, um, that's kind of what I'm gonna do. And we're gonna come out and cover six pretty much every single play. Now real quick, a couple of things with this. You're gonna find that this defense is going to give you what I would say is probably the the best basic uh, base rush in Madden 22, meaning you're going to get a lot of separation. You're going to find that you're going to get pretty good pressure out of this formation, which is one of the main reasons why I really like it. Okay, so we're going to get pretty good pressure with this. Now, I actually have a full nickel triple ebook in my Patreon. So if you want to check that out, there'll be a link in the description. By joining the Patreon, you get access to all my ebooks, all 15 of them. Uh, we've got 15 offensive and defensive guides in there. We've, we update it every week with either updates to the ebooks or new ebooks or new exclusive tips. So you're always getting new content with that as well. So you're always up to date on the latest stuff. So if you want to get access to all that, again, just $10 a month in the Patreon. There'll be a, a link in the description that you can click on and you can cancel it whenever you'd like to um, But again, just ten bucks a month unlocks everything over there for you Okay, guys, let's take a look at this cover six and how we're going to utilize this now uh, One thing I wanted to quickly point out is this is a basic basic and I mean basic basic defense against everything So it's something that you can call that is going to be good against pretty much anything that the offense is going to do So if you take a look at this, you're going to notice one of the things that I really like about this formation is its alignment so if we're playing if we're playing this cover six, what you're going to notice here is that you're going to have really good alignment against any formation. It doesn't matter really what the formation is. So in this example here, we can send pressure off of this edge if we want to. Um, and what I like to do with the way that the way that this defense is uh, actually originally set up here, let me just show you one little piece of this. What we're going to actually do with this is we're actually going to use or this guy. Um, or if you want to, we can actually bring this guy down and use or him in the box just like this right here. Notice that this guy real quick um, in the quarter flat is a linebacker or you know a safety at linebacker. But what we're getting on this left side is we're going to turn this into kind of a bunch defense. So what we're getting on this left side, if you take a look here, we're getting um, you know pretty basic box check, if you will. And so what I like to do is from a defensive perspective here is we're actually just going to play man uh, by and large on the other side of the field. Okay, so uh, we're going to blitz our user over the center just like this. Now, this is going to allow us to get really easy pressure. If you want to get pressure, just globally blitz your um, or um, just blitz this linebacker right here. QB contained. So you see this is what it looks like. And then you can kind of stand, you know, right here if you want to, whatever. You're going to see we're going to get really fast pressure. And it's also the kind of pressure that they basically have to block their tight end uh, for them to be able to pick this up. Another thing that you can do with this, we talk about manually moving people. You can move this guy off the edge as well, and it just makes them have to respect the threats, right? It makes them have to respect, well, they could blitz either edge at a really high level, okay? So I that, that in and of itself, they're going to have to start blocking their running back or blocking their tight end. Most of the time when people run this formation right here, they will block their tight end. Okay, just generally speaking, most of the time they will block their tight end because they're trying to go to this mesh spot play 
where they're going to block their tight end, or uh, I guess it's a different, whatever. It's it's basically, I mean, you can do it out of mesh spot, but they're going to go to this, and they're going to do something essentially like this, okay? That, or there's a basically a flipped version of this um, in another playbook, I think Bengals playbook. But the bottom line is th what this defense does, if you don't do any adjustments, this cover, this cover six is fine. Um, but what I like to do from an adjustments if I want to play coverage is we're going to man up, and it's really important. So we're going to play man coverage on the outside receiver right there. So you see that. Um, Scotty Miller, we have him in man coverage. That's the first adjustment that we're going to do. Obviously, we're going to bring this guy down as well. Now, what I like to do next is really important. So we're going to take this guy, and this is why we're going to get really, really good sheds. If you look at these sharp blitzing angles we have under this formation, we're going to bluff blitz uh, this Harris uh, guy right here. So you see he's in a bluff blitz assignment. And then really what you're able to do with this is you can actually take this guy right here and do whatever you want. You can man, you can cross man him um, if you want to on one of the players over on the left side. You can put him in a middle third if you want to try to be a little bit more protected if they try to go vertical on you. I like to leave this vertical hook here. So what you could also do is you could man him up on the tight end. If you man him up on the tight end, he's going to basically be a quarterback spy. So that's, you know, again, you could uh, put him on a hard flat is another really easy adjustment, okay? I'm just saying, do really whatever you want with this guy. Uh, whatever you want to do with this guy, you can. And just know that if the tight end goes on a vertical route, you've got to carry him vertical. But most of the time they're going to drop, they're going to, um, most of the time in this, in this uh, scheme, they're gonna block him. So if you want to just extra peace of mind, go ahead and man him up. Now, all you have to worry about from a user perspective here is basically a, uh, a slant, which is you're gonna receive a slant from left to right, or, um, I mean, that's pretty much the main thing. Um, the other thing that you have to worry about a little bit is if the circle receiver can get open, but what you'll see is you got really good chance at guarding this. Notice the vertical hook, really, and that's what I was going to try to get at, is the sheds you get from this are really, 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 really good. Um, again, if you want to do something like a contain, uh, you can do that, uh, but then you're going to bluff blitz here, so now you have a three rec, which allows this guy to be whatever you want to do. If you want to keep the cloud flat, I don't blame you, then man this guy up on him here, and then what you could even do, if you only want to try to go for a two-man shed, which is not wrong, you're still going to have really good sheds if you just send two here. Um, go ahead and bluff blitz this, or uh, vert hook this guy. So now you have a vert hook here. You've got man coverage on the tight end, and then you've got this. Now the back side or the left side of this formation is really, really locked down. So I'm going to go to one of the best bomb concepts in Madden 22 right now, and that's the flood play. And what you're going to notice is this is going to defend it fairly, fairly well. You're going to see right here we're able to hang with pretty much everything they want to do. One thing you might consider with gun tight, one thing you might consider with gun tight is not pressing your coverage. Um, just make, And the reason why, specifically your left side, um, because the match will work better if it's not pressed. So let's say you do something like this, and then you know, you've know you got you've got your coverage kind of set up or teed up. Now if we run that same concept I, I just ran from flood, you're going to find that the match coverage is not going to be dumb, is not going to dumb out as bad uh, because of the fact that they're going to drive on the route versus hesitate on the route. And that's something big thing we talk about in our Patreon about that. But anyway, so now you've got, again, you've got, a, you got really good coverage here. The biggest thing you've got to worry about is any kind of crosser coming across your face. So in this example, you've got a slant, but you've got that covered. So you're going to bail back to this and notice how he's going to drive on this route. Darby is going to drive on that route. And oftentimes, we'll be able to get himself into a position to pick it off. Now, let's say, for example, you want to be a little safer. I understand that. What you want to do in that scenario um, is just bring this guy down and go ahead and click off of him. Um, so we're actually going to click off of him now. And you can click over here if you want to, or you can just do something like this. You still can blitz them, especially you bring this guy off the edge. You still have a lot of access to pressure within this concept here. Uh, the biggest thing now is you've got a deep path over the top that's going to kind of help you. So then your biggest priority really is the tight end. If the tight end stays in, you don't have to really worry about it. If the tight end goes on a route, then you know you might want to try to kind of shadow him, I guess. 
uh, just kind of watch him. But now you'll see here, if you're worried about flood, you, this is why cover six is so good. You'll see that these deep halves, they kind of work off one another. Notice the sheds are really, really good. I can't stress that enough, how good the sheds really are from this formation. So the cool part is you can adapt this, right? So if you want to flip the play, you can. And uh, I wouldn't recommend flipping the play because the biggest problem with that is now your box check is, is, is on the wrong side of the field. Uh, but you can flip this play if you want. Like, let's say you don't want to run match. That's fine. One of my favorite coverages is a cover one linebacker blitz. It's one of my favorite coverages in the game. And we can just simply do this. And, again, this is why I like this defense so much. All i got to do is contain, and I'm going to get instant pressure off the edge, and you're going to see right there. So the nickel triple is just super, super adaptable. And, again, you know, cover six is a nice little foundation defense. Um, you know, one thing you could do, and again, these are just general adjustments you can make, but there's nothing stopping you from putting this guy over here in an outside quarter or something, and then taking that nickel corner, manning him up on this guy, and then now you're gonna be working in this general area of the field. So you'll see here this outside quarter becomes kind of a robber type of coverage where it's gonna be able to poach on the crossers and things like that. But anyways, guys, that's the nickel uh, triple and just a little bit of a brief overview about how it could work for you against tight. There's a lot you can do with this. What I, I really wanna stress in this video is how adaptable this thing really is. Um, because of the alignment, because of everything we're accomplishing here, let's say we wanna send pressure off the right side here. Well, okay, we're gonna maybe do like this and now we're not gonna worry too much about this this uh, corner route, but what we can do is we can drop this linebacker into a seam flat zone, and now you still have really good opportunity for sheds, but you also have a really good chance for sending some pressure at the quarterback and kind of keeping your coverage intact um, if you want to. So again, there's just so much you can do from this. We talk a lot about this defense on our Patreon, so if you want to if you want to learn everything about it, join the Patreon for just ten dollars a month. You get everything. You get all of the ebooks, all the updates to the ebooks, any new ebooks, and also you know great opportunity uh, to just get private. You get your questions answered with private messaging and all that uh, within the within the uh, site. So if you want to sign up for that, it's ten dollars a month. You can cancel whenever you would like to, but as soon as you sign up, you get access to everything. Thanks for watching the video. If you're still watching and you want to go check out the Patreon, there's a link in the description of the video. So just head down to the description of the video and click on the link that I put down there for you.